If you want to generate leads within the next 24 hours, this is the only video tutorial you're going to have to watch. We're going to show you step by step how to generate leads using Facebook with this one creative strategy. Now my video last year has been ranking number one for Facebook ads for real estate agents with over 40,000 views, thousands of comments now, but a lot has changed since last year. This by far has been the most requested video to show you what's working in 2021 based on how the Facebook interface looks today. So what we're going to do is walk you through start to finish, click by click, exactly how to get an ad up and running right now that will give you leads within the next 24 hours hours. Now this exact strategy has helped thousands of agents in my own database generate leads very quickly, but I want to say something quickly before we get started. There are some very unique creative strategies that generate you the warmest, hottest leads that convert at the highest rate, which is what everybody wants. If you want to know how to do that, just drop a comment below because for anybody that comments on my YouTube videos, I'm going to give you access to my brand new free training that I just released this year with the strategies that generate the hottest leads in 2021. And we've proven it and the results are insane with people closing multiple transactions per month within the first month or two from implementing these strategies. So drop a comment below if you do wanna see that free private training. Otherwise, without further ado, let's head on into my screen and show you exactly how to do this step-by-step, click-by-click Facebook ad tutorial. All right, guys, so it's time to walk through this step by step from start to finish so that you can follow along, but do exactly that. Open up your screen, make sure you follow along so that you don't miss a beat because if you skip ahead, you're likely going to make various mistakes that I hear everybody making and people reaching out to me asking what they should be doing. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and create an ad and this is going to be a lead generation ad. Now, you will have seen that if you watched the previous video that I mentioned previously that the interface looks a bit different because Facebook is constantly and annoyingly changing it. So this is what it looks like now. It's going to be the exact same process, but there's a couple little quirks and nuances. So what we're going to do is we want to generate some freaking leads. So let's do exactly that. So choose your marketing objective um, as lead generation and we're going to click continue. So this is now going to pop up. Now, this is really important for tracking. So I like to make sure that you're always naming things properly using the proper nomenclature so that as you can see over here, whenever you're looking for a specific ad campaign, you know exactly what it's about. So let's just say that we are going to do a custom list of homes under 500K Calgary. So this would be an example of what I would do in my market and then you in your market, what you want to be doing with this ad is find the average price that most people can afford. And that's why this works so well because you're doing a custom list of homes of the most popular listings under a certain price point. That is the average price point that people would be moving down, they would move moving up, they'd be buying their first property, it would be empty nesters. It's very strategic to use this price point that almost anybody can afford if they're looking. So the next thing we have to do is we do have to use the trusty old unfortunate special ad category for housing. Now you come down here, don't worry about A-B testing, don't worry about CBO or campaign budget optimization. You simply don't need it right now. I will create other tutorials showing you about this and it is in my program. So what we're going to do now is the ad set name. So you'll see that you've got the campaign level, you've got the ad set level, and you've got the ad level. Same process as years in the past, just different formatting the exact same process. So the ad set is the targeting that you're going to be using. So what we're going to do here is we could say Calgary buyers, because that's who we're going to try and attract. We're going to be using the instant forms, which we'll get to in the ad, which is the lead form that pops up, allowing people to auto populate their information. Now you have to choose the correct Facebook page. So we will come down here and I will select this Facebook page. Now, don't worry about dynamic creative either. So provide creative elements such as headlines and will automatically generate combinations for you. You don't need to do this. I think a lot of agents 
overwhelm themselves with extra layers of complexity that aren't necessary in order to generate leads. Exactly what I'm going to show you will generate you leads within the next 24 hours. The rest of this stuff can be added at a later date, but before you start overwhelming yourself with all of these little campaign budget optimization, dynamic creatives, just ignore it because it's not necessary for right now. So I do recommend that if you're in not the most competitive market, meaning that the smaller population, then I would recommend starting at about $10, $15 a day. If you're in a more competitive market or a more popular market in terms of density of population like Toronto, Vancouver, LA, uh, Miami, anything like that, I would recommend starting at about $20 a day just because as everything, ad price is starting to increase over time. Now what you want to be doing is selecting your starting and end date. So I don't like to just let it ride forever. We're gonna choose something like 6 a.m. tomorrow morning and then make sure that you select an end date because I've seen so many people spend 10, 20, 30, up to $100 a day and they forget that they have it set and they didn't set an end date and now they're just burning money on an ad that wasn't converting for them. So we'll just select something like a couple weeks from now at the same time. And it'll show you that um, you know, you're going to be reaching about this many people. So now it gets to the creatives. Okay. So this is the audiences that you want to be doing. Now, as you're going to see here, when I select custom audiences, I've got a ton of creative audiences here. This is the stuff that I go through in the training that I talked to you about that you can get if you comment below. But for this ad, what we're going to be doing is we just want to generate leads. So we're going to select our market center. And we're going to have people living in or recently in this location. There's some creative things you can do with these ones down here, um, but we won't get into them in this video. So we will choose our market center. Now, again, as you guys know, with the special ad category, you do not have the ability to go less than a 15 mile radius and you cannot adjust the age or gender, right? You can see here that if you try to, it won't let you uh, because of the special ad category. Now, here's a bit of a different thing that you need to be mindful of. Most people say, well, Mike, I can't exclude realtors. I can't even target the people that I want to be targeting on Facebook like I used to be able to. That is okay because even though Facebook eliminated some of the more creative targeting opportunities that they previously had, their algorithm has become stronger. So if you're in Canada, I typically leave the detailed targeting completely blank because Facebook's algorithm is so powerful that it's going to go out and find people that are interacting with it and then tailor the ads to more people who are likely to also interact with it. Whereas if you are in the USA, in the States, then you can add some detailed targeting like Zillow or realtor.com down here, which might inch you slightly closer to the goal here. So this does, unfortunately, again, with Facebook's little bug, take a moment to show up, but you can see that you can choose um, Zillow. Now, I wanted to do this because I get a number of people saying, Mike, says ad set might get zero leads. I'm spending 20 bucks a day. Why would I be getting zero leads? You're not going to get zero leads. This is Facebook's little creative way to get you to spend more money on their advertising. So I have done this endless amounts of times before and it, even if it says that you're going to get zero leads i have always gotten leads 100 percent of the time so don't worry about this um so you can play around with adding if you're in the states zillow and realtor.com but if you're in canada leave a blank you're good to go languages leave a blank again now you don't want to be using automatic placements because it spreads your budget a bit Thin. So it says it's recommended, of course, because Facebook wants to spend your money. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the trusty three that are proven to get the best results, which is excluding all of these and coming down here. And all we want to do is we want marketplace for Facebook, Instagram feed and Facebook news feed. These three are proven to get the highest results. And I've tested this with hundreds of different ad accounts. So you can start with that for optimization just leave it as well and we will go on to the ad now for the ad what we're going to do is again we can say custom list of homes and it's time to create our ad so make sure that both your facebook page are connected and your instagram account is connected this is why it is necessary to have a business account on instagram 
And now what we're going to do is select one image, a single image. I know a lot of people are trying to use the carousel because you can show so many photos, but a single image works best for a call to action. Video works very well for collecting data. It works very well for brand awareness. It works very well for nurturing online leads through retargeting and lookalike audiences. But if you want a CTA or a call to action, you want to be using a single image. So we're going to be selecting exactly that, a single image. So we're going to add media and we are going to choose a photo of a property that looks like the average price point in our market. You don't want to be choosing a property that if you're in California, it looks like it's from Texas. If you're in Texas, you don't want to be choosing something that looks like, you know, it's from Michigan or New York. You want to be choosing something that looks exactly like your market because it should be a property from your market. So the one little unique thing that I will say is ideally choose a property that's slightly higher price than the price point that you're advertising. You are not saying that this property is in that custom list of properties that are under $500,000. It's just a call to action. So if you choose a property that looks like it could be, but is just slightly higher, for example, this one would might maybe be about 550,000. It's going to pique curiosity a little bit more and I've seen it get much better results. So now we've got our image. Now for the text, you can do something very simple. You can say something like, uh, we'll do some sort of emoji, attention, Calgary. And again, if you look at my free training by commenting below, I'll give you the exact copy. I'm just making this up on a whim here. Um, properties are flying off the shelf. And I want to make sure you are the first to see the hottest new listings. And then you can put another emoji. This is a free list of the most popular listings under 500K. And then you can do something like click below Click below to get your free list. Boom, done. Okay, very easy. Um, and then for the headline, put like a property emoji or something like that. And you can just say most popular listings under 500K. And then maybe draw a little arrow over here. If we want to go back up to the top, nice little finger point like that. Now for the call to action, learn more is always the best. Um, I find that it converts the highest. I've seen this time and time again. So I will always recommend using that. Now the last thing is we've got our instant form. So we want to create a form for this property. So what we're going to do is we are going to continue and we are going to name this form custom list under 500 K. We are going to go for more volume. For the intro, we're going to use the image from the ad, as you can see here. For the headline, where would you like us to send the your custom list? And then you can again add some sort of greeting if you would like. Um, now for a proper lead, we want to be doing email, name, and we want to be doing phone number as well. So we've got all the lead information. I like name to go first, so you can drag and drop this to the top. And now for the privacy, this is an interesting one. So privacy link is going to be the text policy. Now we want to come to our website here. If we come to my website, which is the EXP Realty website, there's a couple things we want to do. Number one, we need to get our privacy policy from our website. So if you come down here, your website should have a privacy policy. So you will select that and you will paste it in here. And then we've got the last part, which is the call to action. So thank you. Click below for your free list of homes. Moji, make spice it up a bit. Now, 
Let us know if you would like to book a private viewing or if you're looking for something specific. Feel free to call text me at 000.000 or email at something like that. Now, for the call to action, we are going to put the view website. It would be view free list of homes. You can add another emoji if you would like. And the link. So what are we going to do for the link here? What we're going to do is we're going to come back to our website and we are looking for the most popular properties in my city under $500,000. So we're going to select my city. We are doing single family. We are going to choose a minimum price of about $100,000 less than what we are advertising and a max price of under $500,000. So $500,000. Now what you'll see is that when we come here, it is automatically filtered by popularity, okay? So because it's filtered by proper popularity, these are proven based on the MLS data, the most popular properties under $500,000. And now we are going to paste this link in here and then click publish and there you go. So that is exactly how you create an ad that's gonna generate you leads within the next 24 hours. And if you want to know the strategies that are going to get you the warmest, hottest, highest converting leads, just drop a comment below and I'll gladly send you the next opportunity to get into my free training. So thanks so much for tuning in. As always guys, go run those ads, get those leads, close more deals, and we will see you in the next video.